Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a um, uh, regular expression using my NC package. And so uh, first things first, you should do install packages NC, which is what I just did. Get the most recent version from Cran. After that, uh, try looking at the help page for NC capture uh, first vec. And so this is um, the main function or the first function really that you should probably learn in this um, in this package. So it's extracting the first mash of a regex pattern from each of several subject strings. So let's go straight to an example to understand how this works. So here I'm going to copy this first subject to my R interpreter. And so here are pause vec here it's a chromosome position vector it's got three subject strings that we might want to match with a regular expression and convert to a three column data table so um, the subject strings are always um, having a chromosome name followed by a start position with integers and sometimes commas then a dash and an end position so in this example, our second subject doesn't have any in position, and our third subject actually has two genomic range strings. So um, what we can do first is we can just uh, first construct a pattern that's going to match all three subjects by just matching that chromosome name followed by the start position. So to do that, let's do NC capture. Uh, first vec, and those, so the first argument to all of these uh, NC capture functions is going to be the subject that you want to match, and so the subject here is going to be our character vector, the chromosome position vector that we we're just looking at, and then after that, all the subsequent arguments are going to be interpreted as um, patterns that will be pasted together to match uh, the subject string. So let's start by just doing uh, uh, something that matches just the chromosome name. So that's going to be the character CHR followed by um, something. Um, so let's use dot star uh, uh, question mark to for a non greedy uh, match, and then followed by a uh, uh, colon. And so this is how you would typically write a regular expression in usual um, um, R regex functions. But if you use this uh, with the NC functions, you're going to get an error that says must have at least one named argument capture group. So that means one of these um, subject strings or pa pattern uh, string arguments after the first one has to have a name at least. So here let's give it the name Chrome and so then we get uh, the result which is a data table of three rows, one for each of the subjects and one column and so it's going to be as many columns as you specify named arguments after the first one. So that um, that Chrome column, so it's going to be filled up with all of uh, the stuff in the subjects that match the given pattern in that argument. So here, since we probably don't want that colon to be a part of the Chrome um, columns, we can separate that out into its own argument, its own argument, and so it's still going to match now. But now that uh, the Chrome column is only going to be defined based on the stuff that matches in here and not that colon, which is going to be interpreted as something else which is pasted in after that group. Okay, so what do we do if we want to match the position string after that? Well, what we can do is we can add another argument, say Chrome start, and then we're going to give it a pattern. So again, what we do in these arguments is the names are going to correspond to the names of the capture groups and the, the, the values are going to correspond to the patterns that we use. So if you have an unnamed uh, argument that's not going to get extracted to any group, it's just going to be used to match, 
But if you have these named, these named arguments, they're going to be used to create columns or capture groups in your regular expression. So here we need to specify a pattern that is going to match those um, uh, the start positions. So we notice in all the start positions, it's either digits or commas. So we can just use that with a character class, zero to nine comma. Uh, there's nine in comma inside of the character class plus so one or more of that and so if we use that then we're going to get a data table with three rows again one for each of the subjects and two columns one for each of the named arguments that we provide in our call to capture first spec so um the the other thing that we that i want to mention is that um here we have uh, we have the the Chrome start here, which is an integer, but I mean it's logic logically it's an integer, but in fact you know in R if we save this as say match dt, we can see that actually with uh, the default options here it's being saved as a character vector uh, that Chrome start column. So if we wanted to convert that to an integer, well, of course, we could just um, do a post-processing step like we could do with any data table. But NC provides some uh, helper functions so that, uh, well, it provides the, the possibility for the user to provide their own type conversion functions. So if after this uh, definition of the crumb star group, you provide a function like as integer, to use for the um, type conversion. And that function will be used to get a new uh, column. However, you see that, um, you know, because there's those commas in there, the as integer conversion doesn't work, right? So if we wanted to convert those to integers, we need to provide a function that's going to first get rid of those commas and then convert it to an integer. So we can do that with a simple anonymous, anonymous function that calls uh, as integer on the string after removing the commas using gsub like this. So here what we're first doing is we're first calling gsub to substitute all the commas for uh, empty strings and then we're calling as integer and so that function is going to be applied to that chrome start column. And so then we're going to get something that looks like this and um, we can see that in the, the match dt the the data table of matches, you can see that it's now, um, uh, again, uh, same number of rows as the number of input subjects and same number of columns as the, arg as the number of named arguments provided. Um, but now we see that the types are defined using the type conversion function. So by default, the type is always going to be character. If you provide a custom function, it's going to be whatever type that function returns. Okay, so that's like the pretty basic um, NC usage, and so that's good for the first tutorial. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you next time.